When I was trying to build a Vasicek model, I found a YouTube video called Vasicek model on this URL, and I replicated the methodology described in this YouTube video. Some people have questions about this methodology. I found out the explanation, and I want to share it with you here. In order to understand what I'm going to talk about, it's better for you to watch this video first so you can understand the methodology. First of all, I went to this website and I got three months US Treasury yield for last about 10 years. I put it here and then I convert this percentage value into a decimal format. And here we have this probability distribution function. This is log value of this PDF. And in this cell, we have the sum of the log PDF. Then we go to data, solver. We want to change long-term mean, mean reverting speed, and volatility in order to maximize the sum of the log PDF. If we click Solve, we can see the mean reverting speed is zero. Some people have question about why this mean reverting speed is zero. If we draw a graph about this three months US Treasury yield, we can see for the last 10 years, the US Treasury yield start with very low value, about 0.2% or even lower, and increase gradually. And basically from this graph, we cannot see any reverting pattern. Then what I did is instead of use historical three months US Treasury, I put some dummy number here. This dummy number was generated with Excel rent function. I just generated this series of random number. This number will be between zero and one. And I put it here instead of the three months US Treasury. I put this random number here. I changed the formula for the first cell and then I copy it down. If we go to the bottom of this Excel spreadsheet, we will do the same thing. Before that, let me put back the initial value for those parameters. We go to data, solver, and then we click solve. Now you can see the mean reverting speed is 1.123. It's not zero anymore. And if we draw a graph for this dummy data, you can see the number keeps jumping up and down and shows a lot of reverting pattern here. And that's why the mean reverting speed is 1.123. It's not zero anymore. So when we use historical data for the past 10 years, the mean reverting speed shows zero. It's not because something wrong with this model, just because we didn't have enough data to show the reverting pattern. This is 
my explanation. Thank you for watching.